Keep it open. It's and open. Go down. Okay, go. <laughs> Here you go. Now push. Okay. <laughs> More. Hey, I'm Gunnarola, world traveler, food lover. An airport isn't exactly the first place you'd expect to get a quality meal, but today we're slowing things down and exploring the dining options at some of the biggest airports in North America. This is your go-to guide if you want quality, local flavors, or something unique. Whether you've got a layover, delay, or you're just one of those people who gets to the airport super early, these are some of the best spots to grab a bite before you catch a flight. If you've ever flown through the Midwest of the United States, then you're probably familiar with Chicago O'Hare International Airport. While the city may be known for its deep dish pizza, at the airport you'll find a more diverse mix of international cuisine. Today I'm meeting up with Tamara Lynn Chambers, a local actor and comedian, and foodie just like me. I gotta say my only experience with Chicago O'Hare is running between gates trying to get to my next flight. <laughs> Have you dined in this airport? Oh yeah, a ton. I like to get here a little early because I'm a nervous flyer, mm -hmm. so I can get like a drink in okay. me first. I feel a lot better. Well, I think we'll find some good spots for that today. <laughs> Our first stop, Hub 51 in Terminal 5. This bright and modern spot offers an eclectic menu of new American and international dishes. Hub 51, tell me the concept behind this restaurant. We want people to come in and have fun. We wanted to create a comfortable place where People could come and grab a cocktail at the bar, a draft beer, an appetizer, or they could come in and sit down for an awesome dinner. The menu is like a total mix of different foods. If you can't find something on our menu that you love, we're doing something wrong. So, the biggest plate of nachos I've ever seen. I um, feel like I need to stretch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like I need to fast. Let's dig in. We have enough uh, <laughs> circumference here that we can. We would never meet each other in the middle. That's so true. <laughs> mm. I think I would definitely take a heavy nap after this. This honestly would take like hours. You need a table of four. A family of ten. <laughs> and maybe like the police. <laughs> Burgers. Okay, well first, I really want to try these fries. Okay. They have such good Look seasoning. Look at the seasoning. Them. Is it eight different seasons? Is it? Seasons. <laughs> Winter, fall, summer, spring, salt, pepper. <laughs> Paprika. <laughs> All of them. Your basics. Yeah. Nice. That's lovely. So these are listed in the menu as two-handed sandwiches. I love that. That's so You cute. really do need two hands. It's oh big. Oh my gosh. This is a big burger. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Can you tell it's not real meat? Yes, in a great way. Yeah. This is such a weird thing to point out. I love the shredded lettuce. Why love do you think it. that is? Maybe it's because it reminds me of Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, okay, you know what? It's an accessible burger. I do actually, now I'm thinking about it, I do like that shredded lettuce. Right? Juicy, just incredible. Everything you'd want in a burger and more. Tortas Frontera has several locations in Chicago O'Hare alone, but it's in Terminal 5 that you'll find their most extensive menu of modern Mexican cuisine. So I was here about a month ago, and my gate was right there. Oh my God. Like two steps, and it's delicious. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. This one's dangerous. Mm. I know this one's gonna be dangerous. That's sweet, right? Mm. Mm. This has a really great spice to it. Okay. It's smoky. Smoky, that mezcal. Let's dig into our tortas. We have Chipotle chicken, their best seller, and a cubana sandwich. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is a light enough thing yeah. to Perfect portion. tackle. Yes. I keep doing this. <laughs> that's why that's I don't a different culture. It. That's okay. Let's dig into our carnitas here. Mm -hmm. All the avocado too. Oh my gosh! So like that chipotle rice on the bottom. Last but not least, chilaquiles. We got tortilla chips with roasted zucchini and fresh spinach, smothered in chipotle salsa, artisan jack cheese. It's creamy. A good amount of kick, but not too much. Yeah, it's not like uncomfortably spicy. What do you think about a soggy chip? I'm okay with it. There are other things in here providing crunch. Yeah, Zucchini, you're right. The onions. Like onions. This is like pre-flight comfort food. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a souvenir or a snack that is quintessentially Chicago, you've got to make a stop at Nuts on Clark. What do you think it is about Nuts on Clark that people love? Why do people love this brand? But they love the name and they love the product. <laughs> we got the quality. Each batch is done, made handcrafted, and we work at it. These bags are designed for the traveler. Is it even going to make it on the plane, though? I feel like I'd just be stuck. So we've got a setup here. What are we going to do today? We are going to make Nuts on Clark gourmet popcorn balls. It's delicious. I heated the hot plate, and I take my light corn syrup. This is our popcorn baller. Nuts and balls. <laughs> what is it actually mean for? <laughs> it's for making popcorn, popcorn balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is for cotton. Do you think it's medieval? I don't know. We take the mini marshmallows. Now, 
as you can see, we start spinning. Wow. How do you come up with these ideas? Yeah, yeah we lay here at night just thinking of it. <laughs> so now, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go deep into this corn. Okay, open it up. All right, it's open. Ready? It's open, it's open. Now, keep it open. It's and open. Then go down. Okay, go. <laughs> there you go. Now push. Okay. Push together. <laughs> More. Ah, I'm going, I'm going. More. <laughs> More. Okay, no. Open it up. Like so, one. And then you take it out. Look at that. Smile. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 How is it? Uh, Rice Krispy Kreme has nothing. Like no. no, no. Definitely. Compact, yes. tasty, sweet and savory. It's important. You can't thing. get much fresher in this. All right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> We're all good. Thank you. Berghoff Cafe is an institution in Chicago, and you'll find their airport location in Terminal 1. Their specialty? Hot carb sandwiches that are served on bread that's baked from scratch every day. So Berghoff Cafe has been in Chicago forever. What do you think it is that keeps you guys in business? Why is this so successful? I think that it hasn't lost like that charm of like yeah. being a family-owned restaurant. In the airport, I think it's one of the few family-owned restaurants. The bread's fresh, the meat's fresh. Uh, we get deliveries every morning. So if I was to sample, a sandwich today, what would you recommend? The Reuben. It's corned beef on rye bread, cheese, sauerkraut. When I think of Chicago, this is the food I think of. I right? was just gonna say this is the most Chicago meal. Yeah. This is gonna be a multiple napkin job, so I came prepared. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> We've heard things about this. Yeah. This has been pumped up for us. The meat is spilling out. Mm. We have some kind of sauce. It looks tangy. Mm -hmm. Sauerkraut. Cheese again. Cheese. Rye bread. It's been pressed. It's a staple, right? I love meat. pickles. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Oh, it is. Very sour. Napkin number one. Let's <laughs> give it a bite. Mm. Oh my god. It's just like in oh, your mouth. So <laughs> many flavors. If the pickle wasn't enough, if the sauerkraut wasn't enough, <laughs> we have mustard. We have spicy we mustard. Spicy mustard. <laughs> All day I've been saying that things were like light. This is not that, but it's amazing. Yeah. Wash it all down with our Berghoff root beer. It's creamy, it's sweet. It's like oh my gosh. Dessert. Yeah, I feel like this is the meal you eat before a flight, and everyone on that flight knows what you've eaten. <laughs> and they are jealous of you. <laughs> Publican City locations are well known throughout Chicago, and if you can't leave the airport, you'll find Publican Tavern in Terminal 3. So we were prepping the series, and everyone said we had to go out to Publican, and it seems to be really well known in Chicago. Why do you think that is? Uh, simple food done right. That's kind of what we do. We focus a lot more on the ingredients, you know, working with local farms, local producers, local purveyors, uh, and kind of bringing it all together uh, into these very simple, uh, rustic farmhouse-inspired type dishes. It's, it's literally farm to table in the airport, as, as close as you can get. Well, the good thing is, if you like choice, we gave you all the choices today. Yeah. Should we start pork rinds? Yeah, yeah. Okay, these are super popular. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Uh, cheesy powder. So I was here on a layover and I got an old fashioned, and just an order of those. Oh, Heaven. paradise. <laughs> Done. So we got barbecued vegetables, we've got Chinese broccoli over there, we've got beets, farm to table, yes. to airport, to, to our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> so these chicken wings apparently take three days to prep, two seconds to eat. Let's do this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the kick, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, that kick, that sweetness. Usually when you see hot wings, they're like that bright neon orange. This is a color you can find in nature. <laughs> right. mm. It's tender. <laughs> I'm never leaving this place. This is salmon on polenta with kale, some grapes, 25-year-old balsamic vinegar. Made to order, farm to table. Lovely atmosphere. Yeah, a Chicago staple. Oh my gosh, I'm proud of my city right now. <laughs> Our last stop is Wicker Park Seafood and Sushi, the very first full-service sushi restaurant at an airport in North America. Located in Terminal 2, Wicker Park offers a refined dining experience with a menu that reflects Chicago's multicultural population. So, Chef, what do you think makes Wicker Park special? We usually use the uh, very, very high-quality ingredients, in include the uh, rice. We import uh, rice from the Japan right away. Even the uh, other real crab and then the other, other kind of fishes, we usually use the high-grade ones. This is a very common Spanish dynamite we call cilantro, crab meat, and then onion inside. Mm. 
Mm. Ponju sauce is a very important, important sauce at the, at the Japanese food. A very, very important ingredient. You get that acidity, you get that freshness. It's amazing. Yes. The jalapeno on top. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a hello, I'm awake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is called usujukuri. Usujukuri means a thin sliced fish. There are tuna and salmon, only two kind of fish in here. But the, on top, uh, this is green sauce, is the uh, parsley ginger sauce. Mm. My goodness, it just melts. Also, we try to reduce the mayonnaise inside. Too much mayonnaise nowadays. Yeah. Let's try the one more roll. This roll is called Tidal Wave. This is the most famous the signature roll in the, in the Wicker Park. Shrimp tempura and the crab meat inside, and outside with the real crab. It's real crab. Real crab. Yes. And the honey mustard sauce and the eel sauce on top. All right, it's, this is going to be the most decadent roll I've yeah. ever had in my life, yeah. I think. <laughs> Oh, the honey mustard, wow. Yeah, honey mustard. If I were connecting through O'Hare, or I was leaving for a flight, I would always get that. Yeah. yeah. I have to stop by already, so. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it, just a few spots to grab a quality meal or snack. Make sure to like this video and share it with a fellow traveler. And for more delicious travel tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nam voyage.